<laughs> Here's the deal, because when you talk about Atlanta Braves and you talk about quintessential moves and what they do, Alex Anthopoulos recreated the entire outfield. They went on to win a world championship. They made a move for Matt Olson coming in. Now, it was questionable at the time. I questioned it because you let Freddie Freeman go. But you also brought in a dude that was a little bit younger, Matt Olson. And since the 2021 season started, he's six in homers, fourth in ribbies, and six in games played. And this is why they went and got him. Not because of that wild pitch right there, but the fact that he stays in on some pitches against top pitchers and drives in runs. Base hit to right field off of Otani. This is nice. This is what he was able to do in a nice little run he had in August last year at a three-week period when he hit 333. This at bat right here I really want to look at. Ball in, spits on that. That's a nasty pitch. That should be ball three, Mr. Umpire. Murphy knows it. He comes back in, he gets a hanger, and he jumps ship. And I'm sitting there watching this. It's all in this guy's game. Sean Murphy is an offensive player, I think, is starting to figure things out. Once again, in August, he's going dead center in Texas. That's major pop right there that he has. This little at bat right here with this cut piece in on a 1-0 pitch, he jumps on him. This next at bat, he's facing the same guy, ball. He's not going to come in again. And I think Murphy knew it. So he gets a heat piece away. He shoots him to right center field. So you watch this guy. It's all there. I think the fact that he's only 28 years old right now, you look at him, what he's doing this year, this is pop. This is a 91-mile-an-hour pitch down, down in the zone, breaking ball on a first pitch. That's his walk-off right there. Homer. Okay, this one's interesting because from Valdez right here, Thank you for that, because I'm looking at this back there and edited 89 miles an hour. I wasn't sure what the pitch was. Is it a bad sinker? No, it's a changeup. So thank you. Move that forward so we can get on to the next one. But we thank uh, Atlanta Braves for putting that up. Breaking ball down the middle. 0-1 pitch. He stays on pitches and gives himself a chance. And he's got enough juice to leave the ballpark in a couple different ways. So this one's interesting to me, right? Because here's the situation is the bottom of the second. And I, I want to I want to come back to this during this game. He had a big ribby day the um, May 9th. First and second, two outs right here. All right, let's play this at bat. It's not gonna take long. It's a first pitch breaking ball, right? He's on it. He stays on the pitch, he drives in a run. Remember that. That ball right there is we're going to come back and do a pitch by pitch because that was another breaking ball. Same pitcher, one two count with bases drunk. But he finished it off the day right here with a nice little double in the gap in the bottom of the eighth. He's driving in four biscuits that day. But I really want to go back to that fourth inning at bat. Come on, Olsen, run! I need that ribby. Good. All right, so we're going to look at that one at bat again because I really want to see that. And, and here's the deal because he's already hit a first pitch breaking ball right down the middle for a knock. We got bases drunk, one out. I'm not going to throw him a first pitch breaking ball. Probably not going to throw him too many breaking balls at all in this bat, in my opinion. Play it right here. Bases drunk, he challenges him. And that's a good spot. He's tying him up. He still tries to ride him high with the heater. Ties him up again. And what does he do? He actually came back to that breaking ball and Murphy was still on it. So my point here with Murphy and it's all coming together for him. He's got it in him, but I like the fact that he can get deep in the count. He stays on them thing. Here's something that's interesting to me, because why did they go get him? To this day, this is what his 162 game average would be, right? 240, 35 doubles, 25, 80 stakes, 76 runs scored. Now that's not fair to ask a catcher to play 162 even if he's DH and half the time. So let's look at it and play it realistic. Let's go to 40 games, a career 140 game, because right now he's on schedule to play 144. Last year he played 148. His average is going to stay the same at 240. That's going to tick up, in my opinion, because I think he's getting better. But look at this, 30 doubles. Would you take it? Yes, I would. 21 homers, 69 stakes, and 66 runs scored. So I'm signing up for that if I'm the Atlanta Braves. And I think the fact that he's starting to come into his own even more and more, he's going to get a little bit better as time goes on, Adnan. Great stuff, Rip. Certainly, Sean Murphy turning things up a notch. You stay put there in Studio 42. We'll get back in just a second. Time now for StackCast powered by Google Cloud. Further in the point on Sean Murphy, so highest expected slug this season. That's basically taking into account your exit feel, your launch angle. Murphy's second on that list. Like Chapman 
is in the mix with Otani for MVP in the American League. And there's Murphy and Acuna. Both those guys, many would agree, are the top two picks right now for the MVP. So clearly, Murphy having a breakout season so far. The Atlanta Braves.